Well, here's a rare and unusual visitor who's really actually sort of pissy at the moment because I can see it uh, flaring its throat. Really flaring its throat. Um, something tells me this boom slang is not in the mood for boom slang cam. But here you go. You got a really uh, pissy boom slang doing pissy boom slang stuff. And uh, look at the blues on him. This is interesting when they're really young like this because you get to see all these fantastic spots and colors for camouflage and also for threat displays. And boy, that's, that's a threat display. Hey, look at me. I got no neck now. You're okay, bud. You know, he's right out of the bag and uh, and apparently very uh, leery of my camera, so we'll not press this too far, but uh, boom slangs are one of the most lethal colubrids uh, out there. They have cytotoxins, which essentially cause you to have a meltdown. You just ooze and drip out of every pore in your body, I'm told. Uh, there is an anti-venom for it, but uh, I just hope you can uh, last long enough to get it, and you do indeed get it in time. Look at that. You are a stunner, my friend. Okay, we'll back off and we'll let you relax. Boom slam. What a pretty snake. What an awful way to go. Uh, that's not the tree branch uh, oscillating in the wind. That's my friend Bob holding, trying to hold it still. We have a special visitor. Look at this little uh, puff adder. Whoa, is that a nice one. I bet I can't get any closer than this and do puff at her camp because he'll wax the lens. Oh yeah, see? You can always count on puff adders. Ooh. Yep, can't do puff at her camp because uh, it's... <laughs> It doesn't, uh, it gets the lens before it can uh, get in its face. Holy hyperspace. Okay. We'll back off and uh, let this guy settle down. That's a nice one, though. I tell everybody that African culvers are just absolutely wild and crazy for the most part. Uh, the uh, water culbras are not like that. But this is a, a little cape culbra. Ah, oh, tire yourself out, you little dummy. Here, strike the camera. Oh, you're just going ape shit. Oops, sorry folks. Whoa! Not around the side of the camera there, Buster. God, you think you're... He's going for my hand. He's not going for the camera. He's no dummy. He may be spastic, but he's no dummy. Hey, you're not supposed to have heat-sensitive pits there, buddy. Cape Cobra Cam. The damn thing won't sit still long enough for it to focus, folks. Sorry. But this is your typical Cape Cobra. Why in the heck would anyone want this spastic thing in their collection anyway? It's got the most potent venom out of all the Cobras, all the Nayas. Very hot, very aggressive, and totally wacky. There, you tired now, huh? Oh, okay. Settle down. I mean, no one else has misbehaved like this tonight. You have to be it, huh? You have to be the badass. Huh? You have to be the badass. Well, there you go, badass. Your butt is pinned. Huh? Ah, just... He went to purple maculata school. Hey! 
Get back there. Okay, I've had enough of this little guy. Beef. Uh, he's already on the floor. Look at that. He took a real venom dump on my uh, snake hook. This guy. Cape Cobra Cam, whether you like it or not, buddy, huh? I can't wait till these little suckers leave my facility. They, I've already had enough of them. Ah, this little Cape Cobra is bending over backwards for me. Whoa! Whoa! Ha <laughs> ha That was sneaky. Huh? He just, uh... He was in the water dish and I could see that he was in the... Had some skin hanging loose and sure enough, uh... He had some, uh, uh, some shedding to be done, so I just, uh, uh took him out and helped him along, and, uh, boy is he a little cranky beast. Come on, camera, focus up. There we go. Naya Nivea Cam, Cape Cobra. Oh, uh, you know these these guys are very hyper. Key right in on the hand, and I'm gonna make them bend over backwards. Oh, I'm spastic. I'm spastic. My hand is directly above him, and the little beastie is leaning back to uh, uh, to try a uh, draw a bead on it. Uh, they do have some serious lunging ability. I'll back the camera off so uh, you guys can see a little bit more. Uh, they are exceptionally uh, testy, that's for certain. In contrast to the water cobras that are just like, oh, this is a cool place. Hello, how are you? These are not mine, they're my friend Derek's. Uh, I am holding them for him till he picks them up, hopefully in the next day or two. Uh, although these are cute, uh, they're not part of my normal program. But it's nice to bring you guys an additional species or two uh, when I can. Boy, you are attentive and you are uh, you're quite uh, quite spunky. I can't imagine you at, at five feet. That would be uh, rather interesting. These are cranky little beasts. Oh, yeah. Go for that hand. Go for that hand. He was very, very upset when I had my Midwest uh, uh, glove on. And being so small, uh, chances of him biting through that were very, very small. Um, I don't use it uh, uh, with snakes with very long fangs uh, uh, you know like mambas that are over a couple of feet in length uh, there are uh, reports and such oh you're right on mr. camera huh you're right on mr. camera um, I know as a fact you can be bitten through those gloves by by large mambas I know someone who uh, was trying to stop the escape of a uh, West African green uh, green mamba uh, Dendra aspis viridis and uh, got bit through the gloves drew blood but fortunately the venom was left on his skin and not in his uh, bloodstream uh, so it turned out to be a dry bite Calosalasma cam these are baby uh, Malayan pit vipers. These are uh, these are a brood uh, that uh, I obtained from 
Kurt Johnson. Uh, 21 eggs he hatched out. Like I said, he is uh, he is just so good with uh, hatching eggs. He is he is the Yoda of that, as far as I know. I know I know no one better. Um, any rate, these used to be a Kistrodon rotostoma, but now they're in their own monotypical genus. These guys kill more people within their region than any other snake in Southeast Asia, including cobras, king cobras, crates, all sorts of other pit vipers. These are the guys. These hang out in the rubber plantations and give people some really horrific bites. Uh, my friend Don calls them little finger rotters because of their very uh, proteolytic nature of their venom. Um, Malayan pit vipers uh, uh, also supply venom to, uh, to the medical industry. Uh, their powerful anticoagulant is uh, used in, in lots of different uh, clinical tests and uh, um, uh, different uh, uh, medicines to break up clots. So I'm going to let these guys uh, rest along with everybody else uh, that came in and uh, let them uh, chill out, so to speak, until I figure out what to do with them all. People ask me uh, what's sometimes the best way to sex small juvenile snakes. Well, this is one of the little uh, uh, red-spotted pit vipers, uh, Protobothrops uh, gerardoni xanthomelis, uh, and I've got it in a clear plastic box and we're looking up from the bottom so the snake is sitting naturally uh, on the bottom of the plastic and you can clearly see right at the anal scale okay, sorry for so much flare this is not easy to do with one person you can see there's an abrupt drop off into the tail and the tail tapers uh, very gradually down to nothing and it's fairly long now in a moment I'll show you what a male looks like of this species and sometimes the difference is very subtle especially in small animals. So hold on. Now here you can see the whole operation. I hooked the little beastie which is uh, was my initial impression was that this was a male and you drop him in the clear plastic box close the lid he can't go anywhere the pointy end is safely enclosed in the plastic and then uh, we look upwards now it's really tough to tell because this is looking right up into the light now see how there's a, a gradual taper and there's a bit of a bulge after the anal scale, it's not so an abrupt take off, um, uh, taper down. That's what I would call a male Protobothrops gerardoni xanthomelis. And this is all done nice and safely from uh, the confines of a nice little clear plastic box. And once you're done with the little beastie, uh, you can uh, dump him out. And I was actually going to try to dump him into the uh, container, but uh, once again, they outsmarted me. But he crawled on the lid, and I dumped him in uh, from the lid. All done safely, very nice and cleanly. That's your Viper Keeper tip of the week.